Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing a couple of my favorite products from the Kerasauce Curl Manifesto line and I wanted to start off with the leave-in conditioner just right here and this is my absolute favorite product of their line by far. It's infused with Manuka honey which is great, it leaves your curls really soft, it smells so good. One thing that I really like about this product is that it provides my hair with so much definition if you can see, but there's no crunch to it. It's very soft, it's very big. Um, a lot of products that I've used in the past have weighed my hair down and have sort of given it that wet look and I don't have that issue with this product. It's also water-based. It's not super thick, it's very lightweight. Another thing that I really love about this leave-in conditioner is how it reduces frizz. So like I said, I'm just gonna show you guys a close-up. When my hair lacks moisture, it is very frizzy and I don't have that issue at all with this product. My second favorite product from this line is the Curl Manifesto Gel Contour. I absolutely need gel um, when I style my hair because I find if I just use a leave-in then my hair kind of frizzes up by the end of the day or my curls become undefined and so I always layer um, my leave-in conditioners with a gel just to lock in all the moisture and this right here is one of my new favorite products. I absolutely love it. It provides my hair with definition in addition to the leave-in, but at the same time, I don't have that crunch that a lot of gels leave your hair with. I have no buildup by the end of the day, and it's just really soft and defining to your hair, and it has a lot of moisture in it. I wanted to show you guys another one of my favorite products from the Kerasas Curl Manifesto line, which is this hair refresher. So, if you have curls, you're very familiar with refreshing your hair, you know, after day one or day two hair, your hair tends to get very big, very dry, very frizzy, the curls are no longer defined like they were on day one because the product is kind of drying out of your hair. So, in the past, um, I've used spritzers that have like coconut oil in it or I've just um, put conditioner into um, like a spritz water bottle and it always leaves my hair dry but I found with this product one it smells so good all of these products smell so good it's kind of like a not quite fruity but I don't know it just smells so good I wish you guys could smell it so I just spritz this product all around my hair after about day two day three I usually am able to get two days out of hair using the right products. With these, I get three day hair and it looks so good. But by day four or day three, um, I usually have to, like it's time to refresh with the product or it's time to wash your hair, start all over. With this refresher, I don't need to do that. So I'll spritz it all around my hair and then I'll go in and put in just a little bit, like a dime size of the leave-in, which is right here. And like I said, the leave-in is very lightweight. It's water-based, so it's not thick. It won't weigh your hair down. Section my hair off, put a little bit of that in after spritzing, and then scrunch the end of my hair. And then I'm usually all set, and my curls are rejuvenated. They'll look like this but it'll be four day hair, like it's so good. I absolutely love these products. I recommend it to anyone from having wavy hair to coarse hair. Like I said, I have really long kind of coily um, curls and I absolutely love these products. Like they're the only thing I use now. Once again, it's the gel contour, the leave-in conditioner, and then the refreshing spray. Get yours today.